In this video, I'm going to show you the update in the Material Shopper plugin for SketchUp. It's now been made compatible with 2017 up to 2024. It's very simple to use. You select the pipette tool. Once it's installed, you get this icon. Once it's installed, you select the pipette and you hover over the color that you want. Right. So at the moment, I need to make sure nothing is selected. So select the pipette tool. Nothing is selected in your model. Select the material that you want to change. So say here in this uh, this email address here, plugins at tutanota.com. I can select, the, say, the yellow, and now apply it to the pink. So I want to change what the pink in this whole uh, group. So let's hit the pink, and it'll swap out just that yellow in the pink, or in the, in that group. So I'm going to do undo and let's see. So that's that's color. So let's select the material. So let's select this material and swap out, say, the yellow. And it's that fast, right? So that's that's basically how to use it in a nutshell. Now there's a, a feature in it that's very powerful that is not in the current one that's out there, the current plugin that can swap out material. And that is you can be for it. you could target uh, certain materials in the model without having to swap the whole model. So let me explain that. So say we just want to change out this letter G and not the C or the S or the U. So all you have to do is go and select that. And so whatever's in that selection, only that material that's in that selection even though it's got multiple materials, will be changed. So you make your selection, hit the pipette tool, and say we want to change this pink to red. We fill our paintbrush, or pipettes, with red. And make sure when you hover over it that it's actually that color. And then you, you apply it to the selection. And you see it changes it immediately. And not the whole, uh, what's it going to do? Not the other letters don't change. If I uh, escape, I don't have any uh, selection. This don't have any selection. So let me just select this here. So there's nothing selected inside this group. And I select the pipette tool again. And I select, say, uh, the red again. And apply it to, to the pink. Everything in this uh, group and outside it will be changed. So let's click. Because there's nothing selected. So I hit that. And it just changes everything in, in that group. Now you can select materials from outside the group. So you can hover over here and say select this white. And we can apply it to the red and change all the red. Okay, so you can make selections outside. Here's a bit of transparency. So over there, apply that to the blue. And you get that applied as well. So works on colors and materials or textures. So let's come outside and do undo. A few steps to undo. And so if you want to get a, a hold of this plugin, send an email to plugins at tuta.com and they will send you an email with instructions. Basically, okay, you just make a donation and then they send you the plugin and you can start to use it. So let's delete this and look at a real uh, case scenario where you'd use this. So here we have a kitchen model and it's time consuming to swap out materials uh, one at a time. And if you do have a plugin, uh, th there's no note there that I'm aware of that can be selective and change colors. So if you look at this model, it's a massive model. There's tons to change in it and imagine you have this all done and the customer comes in and says, actually, I don't want green. I want gray. <laughs> and I've had that happen to me. So let's go back here now and say, okay, let's change all this model to, say, a gray. So let's say the customer comes in and says, hand you a swatch and says, I want to use this gray here. So we'll pick this, say, this gray. 
Okay, so all it needs to do is have a swatch of a color in the model. So I'll paint that there. And this is the color we're going to use. So I fill my pipette with the color, hover over it, select it, and it says gray. And then I select what color I want to change in the whole model. I click it. When I click it, you go one, two, three, four. So three seconds, four seconds, and the whole model has changed throughout the whole lot. Anything that has that material has been changed. So now I do undo. And then the customer says to me, no, actually, it's only the island unit I want to change to gray. So to do that, we target the area we want to change. Now, I've made a big selection here. It's got everything in here, but I only want to change the green. So this is very handy. It just ignores everything else, and it will only change the green. So let's select the tool again. Out of curiosity, I wonder if it remembers what I last selected. What's it say? No, it tells you to select. So let's select the gray and hit over the green. And you see in a few seconds, not even a second, it changes that in anything that's selected in that selection. Okay, so a couple of things to watch out for. I'll show you how fast it works. So a couple of things to watch out for is you can have two materials on one layer or so one um, plane and I'll give you an example say I want to change this floor and I'm going to change it for this material here on this worktop I would select the worktop and then select the floor now it says it tell me what the material of the floor is right so I click on it but nothing happens it's not changing and so so what's happening here so this is what we call z fighting so let's go in and see what's happening i've actually got uh, some layers here uh, we can call it tags now and here's a layer that i have switched off and it's actually a plan and you'll notice this plan has changed to this worktop material and the reason for that is it's on the same layer as the floor but it was able to pick up the plan this here but not the floor because they're both on the same layer so that's a little thing you need to watch out for so let me do undo and oh, it's been hidden here this plan so I've unhid it and let's unhide it again because I did undo and now here it is and you can see through here that the color picker is picking up the plan through floor so I am going to separate the floors, just going to go into this floor here and do a push pull and come up, say, one mil. Now I can select the pipette tool, select the worktop, and then the floor. And it changes the floor. So that's how to use it. Uh, and now it's available for 